Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ramani and welcome back to this YouTube channel on all kinds of issues related to understanding narcissism, narcissistic people, situations, you name it. My hope is that this information will help you better navigate these situations and feel a little bit more self-possessed when you're against these kinds of challenges. So as you know, I've been doing these little short series and all, currently doing one on the red flags for narcissism. Remember, red flags are early detection mechanisms. The things that if we can notice them early enough and pay attention to them and integrate them, they go a long way into maybe us not over-investing and getting hurt. So here's a red flag that often comes up in, for narcissism. It's jealousy of other people's success. Now, there's a wonderful word in German that captures something so specific and pathologic. We, we all do it, right? The glee and joy that someone experiences at someone else's misfortune. That word is schadenfreude. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. And it is a signature move of the narcissistic person. However, I know some of you might think that's what this was about, but it's not. That's not what this video is about. This, this video is about the red flag of the green monster called jealousy. A jealousy that shows up early and often in a narcissistic relationship. I guess the green-eyed monster, right? So here are some of the red flaggy jealous comments. I have heard people say that I've written out over the years. Oh God, anyone with a computer can write a book. I've been planning on it too, but I have so much other important stuff happening in my life. Or, uh, of course he got that job. His father has all the connections. He's an idiot, so I'm sure they will humor him and the rich will just get richer and people like me will have to keep working harder than anyone else. Or, she better be glad she's getting married too young to a person with money because look at her skin. She is going to age horribly and I am sure he's going to trade her in for a younger model before long. Or, ugh, it's so sad that they're so insecure that they need that big house. I wonder what they're trying to compensate for. It's those digs that come up early and often. But remember, jealousy, the green-eyed monster of jealousy, is a universal emotion. We all feel it. Me, you, everyone. I think of jealousy as the canary in the psychological coal mine. The things that make us jealous are the things that ping our insecurity, whether that is our appearance, or our bank account, or our education, or our family of origin. The list is endless and everybody has something. So what makes jealousy that shows up early a red flag? And why is it so relevant to narcissism? Again, as I said, all of us experience jealousy from time to time. It's a universal human emotion. For narcissistic people who are far more insecure than the rest of us, the experience of jealousy is far more deep and destructive and dark. And it comes up early because everyone they encounter is experienced as sort of a threat. And so at some level, unless someone's really down and out, everyone brings up a little bit of jealousy for most narcissistic people. It's the myriad passing comments, just like the ones I gave you as examples earlier in this video, that come up so early and often. But a particular red flag above all jealousies comes out, and that's around the success of other people. And these successes can be anything, a professional accomplishment, a promotion, finishing school, starting school, getting married, having a child, buying a house, going on a trip, whatever, take your pick. It's the success of other people that activates the insecurity, the shame, and the inadequacy of the narcissistic person. Many times you may even be taken aback by the jealous reaction they have about someone else's success. It may be about someone they do not even know. For example, a story you are relating about someone and for whatever reason, their inadequacy is being activated and boom, the jealousy will pop. In an intimate relationship, their, their jealousy about someone's successes may be expressed in early dating relationships. In a familial relationship, you may not have understood how to process a parent's jealousy about other people as a child, but now you see it popping up all the time in them when you're an adult. 
And when you try to soften what they're saying, let them know that, hey, that person who succeeded, they really earned it. They worked hard for it. Whatever reasoning you try to give, you then get you find yourself in the unappealing situation of experiencing their narcissistic wrath. Your attempt to temper their reaction may actually activate their shame and then boom, you get some of the wrath as well. Now, obviously, jealousy about other people's successes is a red flag that definitely shows up in workplaces. You may be working in a place where someone is always diminishing other people's accomplishments or otherwise invalidating other people's successes or hard works or whatever. Even when that other person's accomplishments, somebody works in an entirely different division or something, doesn't minimize the successes of the narcissistic person. And God forbid if it is something competitive and that there's something that the narcissistic person was hoping to achieve at, then the jealousy will feel downright poisonous. And now listen, again, we all have our moments when someone has something we want. We might even cast a little shade. But the consistency, pervasiveness, and them showing their jealousy early on without, you, without even knowing you, so sharing their jealousy about someone else, someone else's successes without even knowing you, pay attention to that. The heavy jealousy about someone else's success that shows itself early on is a potent red flag that many people kick themselves for not paying attention to earlier. So think about it and drop it in the comments too. Have you ever had that experience? You think about the narcissist you know or have known that early in the game, they really, really were jealous of someone else having a good experience. And then what did that turn to over the course of your, of, of your relationship with that person, whether it was a friendship or an intimate partnership, whatever? Drop that in the comments because I'm going to see, I'm guessing that this red flag is a lot more common than any of us think. Thanks again.